Hey, what's up guys? This is Army Guy Travels, the reviews channel. And while normally I do great positive reviews on businesses, today I am going to tell the truth and prevent you from having a bad experience with a rental company in San Antonio at the airport. Guys, I can always look at the positive in a situation, but let me tell you, Fox rental car is not it. It is not it. So I booked through Priceline. I rented, I prepaid for the card, or for the car, from the 15th to the 22nd of this month, which would have been re returning it today. I never got the rental car. So I show up that night, show, have the insurance, have the debit, or the credit, sorry, the credit card for the deposit. I have the um, driver's license and everything. I have my reservation, and they're like, it's gonna be $500 for a economy car. Economy, not a, not anything special, just an economy car. I picked the cheap one. So he, I was, I had just booked a plane ticket, so I can't. I, I had to wait for my payment to go through after making the payment for that card. So end result, he's like, "Don't worry about it. No problem. If your card can't do that much right now, because I had just bought like three plane tickets total, and I made a big payment." So I had to wait until after midnight for all of them, but I left enough for like two, three hundred dollar deposit, right? So I come back the next day, and the lady is like, um, "Well, there's a problem," and I'm like, "What?" And she's like, "We don't have that car." And I was like, "Okay, well, can you give me something lower, something higher? Either way, like I don't, I'm not really picky. I just need wheels for the week." And she's like, "No." And I was like, okay, so what? And she's like, well, we're going to have to charge you $234 more on top of a $500 deposit. And I was like, well, I paid for yesterday. I didn't get the car yesterday. She threw my debit card and my credit card onto the table at me like, and said, not my problem. Your credit card didn't work last night. And I said, okay, but I paid for seven days. I'm not getting seven days. I'm getting six days, which is okay. I don't care about getting my money back on the day. It was a problem with my card, right? So end result, she's super rude. She's like, not my problem. Rude, rude, rude. Now, if you guys look at the thumbnail, I took a picture of her from a distance. I wasn't trying to cause an issue at the airport, blah, blah, blah. So uh, end result, they wanted, I paid $290 for a car and insurance for the week. Plus they wanted a $500 deposit. Plus they wanted um, another $234 because the rate changed over a day, like from the one day to the next. And I'm like, all that for a car. So I had, I went back when, like tonight and I asked the guy that was there before, cause he was not, he wasn't rude like that lady. She's super rude. She, she was nothing but disrespectful. Um, and I asked him, I said, what is up with the $500 deposit? He's like, we're a small company. And people tend to steal cars more when they're local because my driver's license has San Antonio on it. You guys know I don't live there, but I do get my mail there and everything in San Antonio. So end result, this guy like told me that local people steal cars more, so they charge a higher deposit for people to have a driver's license in San Antonio. And I'm like, that's that doesn't make any sense to me but because I have ties to the community. Um, but nonetheless, um, don't use Fox. Don't use Fox, okay? Um, to be honest, I would stay away from the airport renting a car altogether and go to another location nearby the airport, but guys, Fox rental car is horrible, horrible. Like, I had to fight with Priceline to get my money back, but I ended up getting everything returned. I got the insurance returned and I got the money returned, but never got the car. Um, first off, I get there's liability, but you have my credit card, you have my driver's license, and I bought the insurance. All right, about $75,000 worth of insurance for the week. If that car gets stolen, uh, you get a brand new car plus some money. All right, so you shouldn't be worried about this. All right. Um, Fox is horrible. Don't use them. Um, do better. Treat your people with res your customers with respect. Don't be rude. Don't throw credit cards at them. Um, you know what I mean? Like I, I, you know, I should throw my card back at her, but I didn't. Uh, 
but nonetheless, guys, so yeah, um, end result, um, you know, don't use Fox Runner Car at San Antonio International Airport because they treat their customers horrible, they are rude, and they do not follow their reservations. Um, and they charge an excessive, excessive, excessive deposit. $500 on an economy car. Give me a break. Um, so nonetheless, thumbs down for Fox. Don't use them. Um, right now we're here in Houston. We're getting ready to go back to Columbia. But yeah, guys, so um, this is my review of Fox rental car. Don't use them. Ciao. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe.